Hello there everyone and welcome to PS4. It's been a long time since I've been to Final Fantasy XIV for one of these videos. But what I thought I'd do today is to talk about writing macros um, for the PS4 version. Now Final Fantasy XIV plays quite brilliantly on the PlayStation 4 and I love using the controller. Having played things like World of Warcraft and uh, other such, such MMOs on the computer and there's something really visceral about having a, a controller on your hand to do all the hot bar stuff. I mean, it's, I just prefer that method of play. So I'm not in a position where I want to put a keyboard and a mouse into the PlayStation 4 and play it that way. It's just not my preferred play style. But as you can see, Flumper here is a level 33. Um, and there's an awful lot of stuff on this hot bar to swap around. So what macros will do is they're able to shortcut certain things to a particular button. So you can execute multiple commands from a single um, button press. So what I'm going to concentrate on showing you today is that you can see down on the right hand side of the toolbar here, I've got four commands, faint, true thrust, vorpal thrust and full thrust. Now faint is something that triggers on its own and it is a slow, does damage and slows a mob down. Um, but then True thrust, vorpal thrust, and full thrust combo together. So when you press those strings, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go at that um, at that scorpion up there in a minute. Um, they have um, they actually link into each other. So true thrust will then give vorpal thrust a boost, which then gives full thrust a boost. So I've got three um, button presses that kind of combo into a more powerful attack. So if we go and target this little chappy up here. I am going to demonstrate. So if I hit with True Thrust, you can see a little bar comes around Vorpal Thrust. If I hit Vorpal Thrust, a little kind of flashing bar comes around for Full Thrust. When I use Full Thrust, bang, in I go. Let's just do these again until it's dead. Fabulous. Now, at the moment, I have no problem with hitting that button sequence at all. But I'm getting rather full here with my hot bar, so it might be easier to simplify those commands to a single button. So that is what we're going to do. We'll just get ourselves to safety and we're going to write a very quick macro. So I'm going to hide myself over here. So to get to the macros, all you have, so I've got my Vita set up here as a keyboard, so I'm just going to switch that back on. Um, if you press the options button and go across to system, there is user macros. And what I've already done is I've set some macros up here, very simple ones, because typing on a PS4 is a bit of a nightmare. So I've got these four macros here. So if I am in a party, I can just do a quick hello there. Thanks, great run to sign off. Congrats if someone levels up and ready when you are, if we're getting ready to hit a boss. So I can just pop those macros and they are actually saved here. So you can see I've got hello, thanks, congrats, ready on the right hand side. So I've always already shortcut a load of that stuff but we are going to go and do a combat macro. So if you go to use the macros, you just choose a blank spot. I've got that one there and you name it. And I am going to name it, oh, second, and bring the text box up. I'm just going to call it combo. Nice and simple. Okay, so it's now called combo. Then we come down into this menu here and we start putting commands in. And I'll show you where you can get lists of commands in a moment. Uh, but first thing is uh, you start with a flash and then because we're attacking, the shortcut for that is AC. So attack, action, sorry. And then we have to put, because we've got two words to put in, um, speech marks. And I will type in then a true thrust. So bear with me, I'm typing away here, T-R-U-E, thrust, like so, and then close that off with a set of speech marks. I'm not sure whether this is, uh, I hope you can see the, the, um, the typing screen, but otherwise when I hit, there we go, so AC true thrust. So that action, if I just did that on its own, that macro would just execute true thrust, but we wanted to do more than that. So if I hit the X button, it takes me down to the next line. And if I open up again, here we go. So what I want to do now is to put a wait time, because there's a cooldown on this uh, on this particular action. And it actually cools down in 2.49 seconds. But I'm going to put slash 
wait, which allows me to wait the specified time, and I'm going to put, for simplicity's sake, 2.5 for 1 100th of a second. Not a big deal. So if hit done, you can see that now it's appeared there. Hit the X to go on to the next line, bring up the text box, and we will this time put um, slash. And we're going to go action again, AC, space, and then the next action is one called Vorpal Thrust. So I will put uh, Vorpal Thrust. Excellent. And I am done. And then I hit the X button again. And I can bring up the text menu and I will put in slash. And then we got wait. And it's 2.5. Okay, and done. And then finally, the last action, which I'll put in, is um, slash AC. And then what we want is this. And the final action is full thrust. So full thrust. Okay, so that macro is now written. What we can do is we can go up to oops, this bit up here. Oh, come on. There we go. To there, and I can give it an icon so I can identify it easily. So uh, these are the marking targets which pallies and tanks would do. There's defense, there's heals. These ones are obviously for various crafting things. I'm just going to shove that up there so I can see that it's an attack. And then what I want to do is to assign it to a particular part of my hotbar. So if I hit square here, it'll ask me to set to hotbar. And then what I can do is I will put it at the bottom on X. So that is now an actionable... Oh. <gasps> drumstick is despawned. I'm not bothered about him at the minute. So what I can do now is I can walk up to this Abanamite and let's target him. And if I hit X, it will now automatically do this. Timing, next strike, done. Final strike, done. And then I can just take him down, slow him. Oh, he's done. Here we go. That is going again. I hit X. Fantastic. So what we got there is a very simple macro that attributes three actions to one button press just to save time. So now actually I can remove full pull thrust and full thrust from my hotbar and put something else in. So I've got more of the things that I need really on the um, the L2 trigger. Now, I don't want too much of it. It's, it's a bit of a pain to swap between them. So as much as I can get in there, more I can get on there, the better. So I can start moving things around so I've got all of my actions that are appropriate and necessary all on one button. So it's a relatively simple process. Um, you can do all sorts of things with it. If I go over to system and back down to macros, I mean, you can see here that they preset. These ones are all ones that have been preset for you to use um, for facing targets, etc. I put those in the communication tools. Uh, we've got one here that is for from Oh, what's he on the back? Goodness me, distracting people. Um, that one will allow me to string a, a group of commands together. But if you come down, you can see if we get ourselves oops, down to the commands menu. Text commands here, let's just use the mouse. There are a ton. So we've got action, action, error, action, this, error, I mean, there's all sorts, anything in-game can be put down into a macro. So moats list, that'll bring up your moats list, examine yourself. Fishing guide, um, you can see gear sets, we've got housing for those people who've got a couple of million um, guild to buy a house. God, I thought I might do a tutorial on that, but as you can see I've got 48,000 there and need at least a million to be able to afford a house. Uh, maybe one day. Um, kick, kneel, laugh, leave, so all of these things essentially You've got, um, you can either type slash link shell or there is a shortcut which is um, slash link eight. 
uh, and it will message whoever is attached to your link shell at number eight. So we can see that you can go in and do an awful lot of stuff here. Um, you've got a shortcut to mount your um, chocobo or whatever it is that you're riding on, um, your pets, all sorts of things you can go through and then assign a string of commands to a single button press and they will execute as they go along. One thing I have found though is that if you've got multiple commands, because remember I used to use macros um, on World of Warcraft and it would indicate the cooldown. So what I've got here is on, vocal, on the um, thing down, if I hit it, uh, it doesn't tell me when the last action calls down. So um, I've got a bit of a guess, but I will generally be pulling off other things such as a, a feint or a heavy thrust or something like that between it. But what I've got now is a nice simple button press that will take three commands and execute them automatically. So that's what I really wanted to show you today, um, the fact that the PlayStation 4 macros work very well. Um, it's a great way of tidying up your hotbar. Um, so as always, whoops, thank you very much for watching and... I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.